Abayev the board, 35 seconds left. UNA leads by 18. Caddo, step back three, misses. Largy keeps it alive, out to Warren. Warren wide open, Warren hits it. 24 seconds left, UNA leads by 15. Florida Gulf Coast saying no foul. Jamari Blackman crosses the timeline. Tony Poole, a fist pump. Peyton Youngblood clapping his hands. Blackman all smiles. 10 seconds left. Count it down, Lion fans. Five seconds to play. Four, three, two, one. This ball game is over. North Alabama is heading to the A-Sun Conference Tournament Championship. A 96-81 win over Florida Gulf Coast, and the Lions advance to play Liberty on Sunday. Championship Sunday has arrived today. North Alabama plays Liberty for the chance at the school's first ever A-Sun Championship. Benjamin Ray, happy to be with you inside the Lion Vision Studios for this tournament championship preview. We're going to hear from some UNA players. We're going to chat with UNA head basketball coach Tony Poolhall. Brian Neese will join me later on the call of this ball game. You can watch UNA play Liberty for the A-Sun Tournament Championship on ESPN coming up at 1 p.m. Central Time. Myself and Brian Neese will have the call on 97.1 WBCFM as well on radio. UNA is the second highest remaining seed after the quarterfinals featured three upsets, the most upsets in the A-Sun Tournament since the 2010 season. UNA became the fourth, fifth seed in the last five seasons and the eighth over the last 12 to upset the four seed in the tournament. Tony Pujols' team picked up the school's first ever A-Sun tournament win with a 68-60 win over North Florida behind a dominating inside presence. Emmanuel Littles and Mervyn James both finished with double doubles while powering UNA to a 48-30 advantage on the glass. Littles finished with 20 points and 13 rebounds for his league-high ninth double-double, while Mervyn James added 17 points and 11 rebounds. That marked the fourth time this season the Bash brothers have both posted double-doubles in the same game. UNA's gone 4-0 in those outings. In the semifinal win over Florida Gulf Coast, it was Peyton Youngblood with a hot hand establishing a new career high of 26 points to lead a total of five players in double figures. It was a UNA offensive effort that shot 54% from the field with 11 three-pointers made. That sends North Alabama into the A-Sun Conference Tournament Championship against Liberty this afternoon in just the third year of this Division I transition. UNA basketball also becomes the second program at UNA overall to play for an A-Sun Championship. UNA soccer made the championship game in year one. The Lions are the first five seed to play for the A-Sun Championship since 2010, and the Liberty Flames are one of the top programs in the A-Sun since joining the league with North Alabama just three seasons ago. The Flames have won each of the last two tournament championships and are looking to become the first team to win three in a row since Belmont accomplished the feat back from 2006 to 2008. In year one, the Liberty Flames upset a senior-led Lipscomb team to win the program's first A-Sun championship. Then last season, once again, it was Lipscomb, the Cinderella team. That time it was Liberty, the one seed, going on to win their second consecutive tournament championship. They did not get to play in the NCAA tournament since the tournament was canceled. The Flames swept UNA in the regular season up in Lynchburg, Virginia, and overall have won 11 straight games while winning the A-Sun regular season championship. They featured the league's player of the year in Darius McGee and the coach of the year in Richie McKay. They defeated Kennesaw State in the quarterfinals in the 1-8 matchup, and then after Stetson upset Bellarmine, Stetson the 7 seed, Bellarmine the 2 seed, the Flames faced off against the Hatters, and Stetson got off to a great start in that ball game. It was back and forth early. There's a lot of lead changes. Finally, Liberty pulled away late, really using a great defensive effort to slow down a Stetson offense that was hot early on. This Liberty defense is one of the tops in the nation. The pack line defense is as advertised. 
ranking in the top three in scoring defense, surrendering just 59 points per game, third best mark amongst all NCAA teams. The offense is just as good. They're one of the top three-point shooting teams in the nation in terms of total three-pointers made. They've got a ton of players that can make it rain, including the ASUM Player of the Year and Darius McGee. So North Alabama has a tough test today against the Liberty University Flames. But as we have seen, North Alabama has risen up to the challenge in the A-Sun Conference Tournament. Wins over Florida Gulf Coast and North Florida have propelled North Alabama into this championship Sunday. We've got a jam-packed pregame show. We're going to hear from C.J. Brim. We're going to have a conversation with Mervyn James, Andy Manuel Littles, and coming up next, we'll hear from UNA senior Peyton Youngblood. Brian Neese will join me later on. We'll have the call of the game on radio on 97.1 WBCFFM. It's a championship Sunday. We've got a jam-packed championship preview show. Thanks for tuning in. We'll keep the show rolling. More coverage to come when we return. I'm Dylan Hart Jr., and it's bow time. <laughs> tick, tick, boom. Like a powder keg in your mouth. Southbound, scratch me. Not one of these, but one of these. 49 steps baked fresh, marinated 12 hours, steep 12 minutes. Now you're talking sweet, easy, southern style. Because when it comes to down home cooking, it's not our first rodeo. Feed the whole family with a big bow box. It's bow time. <laughs> Every adventure starts with an idea, and at CBNS Bank, we help your visions come to life. Imagining a new home? You're in good hands. We can provide the mortgage options you need to build your home sweet home. How about a new ride? We have auto loans with competitive rates and flexible terms to fuel your drive. We've got the most sophisticated and convenient digital products to check balances, pay bills, transfer funds, and even deposit checks all on the go. At CBNS Bank, we put the power of banking in your hands. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. Because of this, we built the most powerful Ford Explorer ever with 400 horsepower. Because of this, we built Ford Expedition with best-in-class towing and plenty of room for crew and cargo. Because of this, we built Escape with Ford Copilot 360. And because Ford SUVs are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. Welcome back into our A-Sun Tournament Championship Preview. Benjamin Ray back with you. Next up, we're talking with UNA senior Peyton Youngblood. Peyton's been on a roll in the tournament, a career-high 26 in the semifinal win over Florida Gulf Coast. Peyton, first off, one of three seniors on this team, your third year with the program. What's it mean to be playing in this championship ball game? Uh, I mean, it means the world from the beginning. I mean, from back in June, this is, this is what you looked forward to. At the end of the season, this is this is the goal. So to be here and to be one game away, it is very special. You arrived in year one as part of that recruiting class where everybody was new. You redshirted that season. Now in year three, in your opinion, how has this program grown so fast? I mean, I would say the foundation has been strong from the beginning. Um, we love playing with each other, and that's been the biggest thing. Uh, connection, playing for each other, having fun. I think especially these last two games, last three games, that's what you've seen out there. Now I want to talk about the offense a little bit. You guys shot over 54% from the floor against Florida Gulf Coast, 11 threes as a team. You had 26. Tell us about the offense when it's clicking, what's working? Uh, when it's clicking, I really think we get good movement off the ball. Um, guys are sharing the ball. Guys are under control, moving fast, but under control. Um, and then turnovers yesterday that was key I think we only had nine turnovers for the game and if we can really take care of the ball like that um, we can be very dangerous in just a moment we're going to hear from Emmanuel Littles and Mervyn James and I want to get your perspective as a senior what's it like playing with those two guys they're always smiling joking around on the floor what kind of energy do they bring um, they, they bring great energy two peas in a pod right there uh, 
very similar. If one's feeling a little down, most likely the other's feeling a little down. But if one's feeling up, uh, the other's feeling up. So if you can get those two guys to, to have good energy, good focus, the whole team's going to have that. Now, your play specifically, we've seen the highlight reel dunks. You can look some of your dunks up on YouTube. We've yeah. seen the three points falling this year as well. And the block shots have been there. Out of the three, when, when it comes to a big one, is, is there one that, that you prefer more? Which one gives you the most joy when you do it on the floor? Uh, I mean, I would say I would say the threes. It's been the threes this year. Um, I love, love to have got the dunk yesterday. I tell the guys all the time, and that's the difference between Juco and D1. You got some bigger guys right there to meet you at the rim, but, but yeah, man, I, I, I would say it's the threes. Love getting them up this year. Now, something else we've seen has been big time fan support. I know there's a lot of fans down there. I know you have family there, coaches, families there. What's the support been like for you guys down in Jacksonville? Oh yeah, it's been wonderful. All the thanks to them. Uh, we truly appreciate it. We truly love it. Um, the encouragement. I mean, it just it just takes our energy to a different level. So it's it's been a blessing, truly a blessing. Peyton, last thing for you to get a win against Liberty in the championship game. What are the things you think you guys will have to do? Um, I think we got to dictate the flow. I think we got to push the ball in transition, uh, make them play to our place. Uh, we have to contain McGee for sure, um, get it done on the defensive end, take care of the ball, and then play for, get, play for each other, have fun out there, play our style. A championship Sunday. Peyton Youngblood, we appreciate the time. Thank you very much. At you and a senior Peyton Youngblood. We'll keep the show rolling. Still to come, we'll hear from Emmanuel Littles and Mervin James, CJ Brim as well. We have our pregame talk with UNA head basketball coach Tony Pujol. That's all to come. We're previewing North Alabama's tournament championship game against Liberty. This is UNA basketball on UNA Line Sports Network. The workplace is changing in ways we never predicted. Get the instruction you need to be ready for it with a degree from the University of North Alabama. UNA is Alabama's workforce development university. We understand that your marketability is more important now than ever. Ensure your path to the future is in your hands. Go to una.edu slash unaworks. Follow your heart to North Alabama Medical Center, the area's only accredited chest pain center that opens blocked vessels when minutes matter. Our team of healthcare experts are equipped with the latest in medical technology to perform life-saving open heart surgery and neurosurgery. Turn to us for matters of the heart and stroke care too. North Alabama Medical Center, world-class heart and stroke care, close to home. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. <laughs> Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. Because of this, we built the most powerful Ford Explorer ever with 400 horsepower. Because of this, we built Ford Expedition with best-in-class towing and plenty of room for crew and cargo. Because of this, we built Escape with Ford Copilot 360. And because Ford SUVs are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. We're getting set for North Alabama to take home Liberty in the A-Sun Conference Tournament Championship. Before we get into the ball game, we've got our tournament preview rolling right along. Up next, a double feature, Emmanuel Littles and Mervin James join us. The top two rebounders for North Alabama. Merv, the team's leading scorers. All right, guys, I, I want to open up. I I've heard people call you guys the Bash Brothers, Twin Towers down low. I've seen you two refer to each other as twins on, on social media. First thing, Manny, tell us about the relationship that you and Merv have both on and off the court. Um, the, the relationship that me and Merv have is is actually like brothers. We treat each other like like real blood brothers, like we, you know, we had the same parents. So uh, as, as far as basketball wise, I do anything to see him look good on the court and see him get better. And it's the same um, vice versa. 
Merv, we see you guys play and you guys absolutely dominate the boards. You make it tough inside. How do you, your two's games complement each other? I would say they complement each other because uh, I catch it in the mid-range area. That's my game. And I know, like, once they step up on me, I know he going to be wide open. So they got to choose. They got to pick their poison, basically. Merv, give us some insight on Manny. I see Manny on the floor. He's dancing. He's laughing. He's always talking. What's it like playing with Manny on the floor? Uh, it's a blessing and a curse because <laughs> we could be we could be down and he's still gonna be laughing and playing. <laughs> so I, I would say it's a blessing because when he brings energy like that, it's hard for us to be like mad in the moment because he's gonna do something like that. So it's gonna always crack us up to like bring life back to the team. And Manny, for you, you're a junior, Merv's a sophomore. What was your first impression when Merv arrived on campus? Uh, well, the first time I seen Merv arrive on campus and he played with us, I'm like, man, this kid has a chance to be good. Is if he stay in the gym and, and do everything he has to do, you know, listen to coach about the little things, you know, some sometimes you're going to tune people out about things, but it's, it's certain things you have to have stick. And as long as he listen to coach and pay attention to coach about the little things, he, he can be great. For either one of you, I love watching you guys battle on the board. Sometimes I see you guys fight each other for a rebound. What's the friendly competition like in game as you guys try to control the boards? Uh, I wouldn't say no friendly competition. Just who want the ball more? <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we be trying to get the ball. It's like you, you get the ball, you get to push it down the court and show off your little bit of handle. So, you know, we, we both want to do that. <laughs> All right, guys, I want to shift the conversation and talk a little bit about this championship ball game. And, Manny, you were part of Coach Pujol's first signing class. This is your third season. You played your first ever A-Sun game in UNF Arena. Now you're playing for the championship inside the very same arena. How far has this program come in three years? Um, this, this program went as far as, as it can. You know, we're not able to get into the NCAA tournament, so this is our NCAA tournament. Um, yesterday... While we were playing, we had Florida Golf Club, some of their guys telling us, like, man, why y'all want to win so bad? Y'all can't even go. And I'm like, man, this is our tournament. We, we upset. Us, us giving out upsets is us going, you're not going to be able to go, and we're going to win our conference. And, and, and that's what it means, to be able to, to, be able to prove something um, without being there. If we're not going to be, if we're not going to be able to go, it's going to be because we can't, because of probation. But you're not going to be able to go because we made sure you can't. And, and that's the statement we're making. And that's where we've grown from. Um, we, we, we figured out how to close games from year one to year three. And that's the most important thing. Merv, last thing for you to, to keep this run alive, to get a championship. In your opinion, what is UNA going to have to do today? Uh, I would say we just got to keep the same, the same mindset going into it, this last game, basically play for all our seniors. Peyton, he's been playing very well. I know he want to go out with this ring, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna play as hard as I can. And put my body on the line for this team so we can get this win. But with that mindset right there, it's no, it's no reason we shouldn't win the game. Cause I know all my teammates coming with that energy and that same mindset. Manny, I know you're very vocal on the floor in the locker room as well. What's your challenge to your teammates as you guys get set to go up against Liberty? Um, the challenge is, is, is to play play for each other, get outside of ourselves, no selfishness. When we play for each other and we're outside of ourselves, we move the ball around, don't care what man go for 30, don't care if I got two, you know. When, when we do those things like that and just, just play defense, get down and get ready to do the dirty work, um, it, it, that's, that's, that's what we need and that, that's all that we need. Manny and Merv, thank you so much for the time. Can't wait to watch you guys later today against Liberty. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's UNA junior Emmanuel Littles and sophomore Mervyn James. We'll keep the show rolling. We've got more coverage to come. North Alabama and Liberty playing for the A-Sun Tournament Championship. Back after this on the UNA Lions Sports Network. Follow your heart to North Alabama Medical Center, the area's only accredited chest pain center that opens blocked vessels when minutes matter. Our team of healthcare experts are equipped with the latest in medical technology to perform life-saving open heart surgery and neurosurgery. Turn to us for matters of the heart and stroke care, too. North Alabama Medical Center, world-class heart and stroke care, close to home. 
Every adventure starts with an idea, and at CBNS Bank, we help your visions come to life. Imagining a new home? You're in good hands. We can provide the mortgage options you need to build your home sweet home. How about a new ride? We have auto loans with competitive rates and flexible terms to fuel your drive. We've got the most sophisticated and convenient digital products to check balances, pay bills, transfer funds, and even deposit checks all on the go. At CBNS Bank, we put the power of banking in your hands. I'm Dylan Hart Jr. And it's bow time. Tick, tick, boom. Like a powder keg in your mouth. Southbound, scratch me. Not one of these, but one of these. 49 steps baked fresh, marinated 12 hours, steeped 12 minutes. Now you're talking sweet, easy, southern style. Because when it comes to down-home cooking, it's not our first rodeo. Feed the whole family with a big bow box. It's bow time. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. We continue our A-Sun Tournament Championship preview. Next up, we're talking with UNA senior point guard, C.J. Brim, as North Alabama gets set to take on Liberty in the A-Sun Conference Championship game this afternoon. C.J., first of all, congratulations on an outstanding season. What's it mean to you to be playing in this championship game? It means a lot. Uh, I get to play with my brothers. Um, we compete every day. Um, we make each other better every day. Uh, the championship means a lot because, first of all, it's our first time being in the championship in program history. So yeah, we, uh, go out there and try to get the try to get the championship. You you mentioned playing with your brothers. Give us some insight into the brotherhood of this basketball team. Just how tight are you guys? Uh, we're very close. Um, we uh, we connect with each other every day. We uh, make each other laugh. Uh, each other make each other even make each other like mad in practice just to get each other head. Just. It's just competition in each of us, and we make each other better. Now I want to talk about your season in play specifically. I know you've been in and out of the lineup, no fault of your own. But yeah. what's it been like for you now? I know it was tough for you early on, but now you're playing in the tournament. Everything you went through, does it make it a little more bittersweet to be playing in the championship? <laughs> yes, sir, it does. Um, um, I had set out eight games this year due to COVID and due to uh, my injury to my hamstring, but – all of, it, all of it was worth it uh, because we made it to the championship game. Now we watch you play. You're listed at five foot nine, but so often I see you go into the paint and come away with the rebound and start leading the break. The rebounding for you, CJ, what's it like battling with those bigger guys? How are you able to come up with so many boards? Um, I'm just, I'm just down there. Like I just be boxing out the, the big man. I just, just no resistance. I just be down a real physical and just, when they bounce out and teams shoot long shots, I know sometimes it's going to be a long rebound. So I'm being in the mix and I just go get the ball. I want to get your perspective on a couple of players. And first off, we just heard from senior Peyton Youngblood. He's been shooting lights out from three. How has Peyton elevated his game the last couple of outings? Peyton had that very game. Yeah, he's playing at a very high level right now. Uh, he's playing very confident. Uh, he's shooting the ball well, playing Great defense. Uh, that's what we need at, uh, from the senior. Now, Detalion Brown made the A-Sun all-freshman team. He stepped into the starting lineup when you were out. What has D brought as a freshman? D, D has brought his confidence. His confidence is, has been growing the whole season. He brought his shooting to the team. Uh, his uh, energy, energy, he always uh, encouraging his teammates. Couple more things I want to talk to you about. This team lost seven games in a row at one point. Yeah. The brotherhood that you mentioned, just how much did that help you guys come out of that and start this championship yeah. run? Yeah, we had um, lost seven, but uh, we just stayed connected to each other. Uh, we knew we were going to have to fight through adversity. We knew each time we lost, we just, just stay connected and just keep going, just keep working. And that's what we did. Give us some perspective on the coaching staff, Tony Pujol, Ahmad Smith, Willie Watson, Tom Behrman. They've all been here together three years. What are the things they do for you guys as players to make it a player-led program? 
they do everything for us. Um, they always giving us information to make us better. They always keeping our head on straight, make sure we get it on and off the court. Uh, they make all of us feel like we want to be a happy family. CJ, last thing for you to come away with an A-Sun tournament championship today against Liberty. What do you think you guys will need to do to come away with the W? You have to focus in, just lock in, and just bring energy for 40 minutes from the bench to the court. And um, that's what we've been doing these past two games, just bringing our energy and just staying focused on the court. CJ, we appreciate the time. We're excited. Best of luck today. Thank you. That's UNA senior guard C.J. Brim. We'll take a timeout. We've got more coverage to come. It's our tournament championship preview. This is UNA basketball on the UNA Lions Sports Network. I'm Dylan Hart, Jr., and it's bow time. <laughs> tick, tick, boom. Like a powder keg in your mouth. Southbound, scratch me. Not one of these, but one of these. 49 steps baked fresh, marinated 12 hours, steeped 12 minutes. Now you're talking sweet, easy, southern style. Because when it comes to down-home cooking, it's not our first rodeo. Feed the whole family with a big bow box. It's bow time. Because of this, we built the most powerful Ford Explorer ever with 400 horsepower. Because of this, we built Ford Expedition with best-in-class towing and plenty of room for crew and cargo. Because of this, we built Escape with Ford Copilot 360. And because Ford SUVs are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. Every adventure starts with an idea, and at CBNS Bank, we help your visions come to life. Imagining a new home? You're in good hands. We can provide the mortgage options you need to build your home sweet home. How about a new ride? We have auto loans with competitive rates and flexible terms to fuel your drive. We've got the most sophisticated and convenient digital products to check balances, pay bills, transfer funds, and even deposit checks all on the go. At CBNS Bank, we put the power of banking in you. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. We continue our A-Sun Tournament Championship Preview. It's time for our pregame coaches' thoughts. Brought to you by State Farm agent Steve Pierce and Bill Alexander. Talking with head basketball coach Tony Pujol here on Championship Sunday. Coach Pujol, thank you for joining us. You're down in Jacksonville, Florida. First thing, Coach, what have these last couple of days been like as this team has competed and put themselves in position to play for a championship? Well, it's been it's been a it's been a heck of a time down here. We've um, you know we've been fortunate here to come away with these two games and having an opportunity to play for championships, which has been the goal since day one, um, you know, three years ago when we got here, that, that was, that, that's what this program is going to be about is uh, continuing the process and, and, and playing for championships. So uh, really excited right now. Guys are, guys are really playing well and we're just excited to be a, be a part of this. Coach, we talk a lot about this being a player-led program. You guys entered the tournament having lost seven straight, the regular season finale against Lipscomb. What can you say about the job this group has done staying together as we've made this championship push? Well, you know, it's funny. You mentioned that uh, yesterday. I don't know if you guys noticed in the game, but there was a timeout called. And if you would have moved the camera over to our bench, you would have seen the staff. We all kind of looked at each other like who called the timeout, and it was one of the players during the game. Uh, and it was a critical part of the game. It was a game where it was, uh, you know, where we had taken the lead and uh, it seemed like they weren't happy with the way they were playing on the court. So Peyton Youngblood took, took a timeout and we were good with it. And in fact, not only did he take the timeout, but he also took over the huddle. And, and to me, that's what it's all about. It's all about that. that. That to me is the epitome of what we're trying to create here. The, the environment that we're trying to create for these guys is that, you know, they have a voice and we want them to express that voice. And yesterday I thought that that just showed a lot of leadership uh, from Peyton and the guys to allow that to happen. 
Coach, you look at the way that this team has played in the championship game one against North Florida. It was the defense shutting down the birds of Trey. Great defensive effort. Then the inside game, really going to work. Manny and Merv inside. Game two against Florida Gulf Coast, it felt like the Eagles could not keep pace with the offense that shot over 50% from the floor. What have been your biggest takeaways through the first two games? Well, if you look at if you look at the two games, the thing that stands out for me is the assist totals. Um, you know, I, I think if you look at it, uh, you'll see that uh, in the first game, I believe we had 17 assists against North Florida, and in this game we had 18. Uh, and I think that has to do with the way that the guys are sharing the basketball and playing unselfishly. You know, uh, to me, you look at them, it's, it doesn't matter who's the guy scoring that night. Uh, you know, game one against North Florida was Manny Littles leading the way, right? And now you got uh, Peyton Youngblood, you know, but it's just the fact that all of them are sharing the basketball. And, and not only that, but in, especially in this game against Florida Gulf Coast, we talked to them about, you know, valuing the possessions. And I thought they did a tremendous job having, I think we finished the game in single digits with turnovers. So uh, for us, that's, that's very, very crucial. Uh, to making a run like this. Let's talk about today's opponent, the Liberty University Flames. Hey, Coach Richie McKay, back-to-back -back ASUN Coach of the Year. They've got Darius McGee, who's the player of the year. They've won the tournament each of the last two years, trying to make it three in a row, Coach. We played them in the regular season, dropped both up there after the ice storm down here, delayed you guys going up to Lynchburg, Coach. But Liberty, Coach, what have you seen from them in the tournament? Well, you know, one of the, the words I use about Liberty is how surgical they are, uh, the efficiency that they play. But, you know, that doesn't deter from what we're trying to do. Okay, we're going to play our style and our brand. Um, what we have to do is we have to understand that with a team like this and even championship basketball, uh, you got to get stops and you got to get scores. That, that's, the, that's the key. And with a team like this, if you, if you could stop them in four consecutive possessions, you better, you better come out and you better put points on the board during those, those times, because if you don't, that's where they get you. So our, our job in this game is just to prepare our guys for what they got to be, you know, be ready for. Uh, and then we got to go out and execute. And we got to execute on both ends, but we have to execute it for 40 minutes. And that's all, that's, that's the bottom line. Uh, but as far as our style of play and the things that we're going to do, yeah, we're not changing our brand. We're going to be who we are. Okay, we're going to stay in character. So uh, we're excited. We can't wait for, for Sunday's matchup. Coach, let's talk about entering this championship game. You guys are the second program at North Alabama to play for an ASUN championship. Soccer played for one in year one. Now in year three, you guys become the second. And then you think about the legacy of guys like Bill Jones, Gary Elliott, the Otis Bodies, Gerald Lavender's coach. Just what does this moment mean for the department as a whole? Well, you know, like, like, you, like you mentioned, uh, the program that kind of kick-started this whole thing was year one in our transition, and it was soccer. Uh, I remember... Uh, last night I spoke with uh, Coach Walker and I congratulated him because he was the guy that really, the, he's the guy that started it all. You know, he got to the championship game in, in year one. And um, I wanted him to know that we recognize that as the men's basketball program, the, the feat and how hard it is to get there. And um, to be honest with you, we're, you know, we're, we, we understand as a program that we stand on the shoulders of men that have already come through here and built this program. You know, you mentioned Coach Jones. Um, you know, you mentioned Coach Elliott, and then you mentioned the the, the players, right? Uh, you mentioned the Otis Bodies, uh, the Gerald Lavenders, um, the Freddie Copelands of the world, right? You you think of that group. Um, you think of Carl Wilmer in the in the '90s. Um, you know, but for us, you know, it, it's just a privilege and an honor to be a part of this. And and like I've said from day one, I'm simply a piece of what this what this is all about. And, um, you know, I couldn't be prouder of the guys. I couldn't be prouder of our staff, uh, everybody in this organization uh, for what, you know, these guys have accomplished so far this year. Last thing for you, Coach Bullhole, big one coming up against Liberty. Keys to the game. What do you want to see your team do to win a championship today? Well, again, I think I mentioned it earlier. I think for us, um, you know, the efficiency part, I think we got to make sure that we're doing our due diligence in the next 24 hours to get all the information to our guys that they need. Uh, but then at the same time, I want to give them information, but I want them to be them. I want them to play, play our, our brand, our style. And um, that's what we're focused on. We'll give them the information that they need, but they got to be them. Uh, so I can, I can tell you right now, offensively, we're going to want to play with pace. And defensively, we have to be efficient because this is where they're at their best. They are, they are, I use the term surgical with them. 
uh, because they are. They're very, very efficient. And our guys need to be locked in and zeroed in on what we got to take care of. On that Coach, Pujol, Coach Pujol, we appreciate the time. Best of luck today against Liberty. Thank you. That's Unit Head Basketball Coach Tony Pujol. That will do it for our championship preview. Myself and Brian Neese will hop live on 97.1 WBCFFM coming up next. It's a championship Sunday, North Alabama and Liberty. Tip coming up right around the corner.